So the Google Pixel 2. You might remember it as 2017's best camera smartphone. Almost 3 years since the Pixel 2 and 2XL were launched, we are at the end of 2020 and my SIM card is in the regular Pixel 2 from about a week now and based on my current experience with this phone, I'm here to answer your questions, is the Pixel 2 still worth it? I've seen people complaining about Google's design language since the original Pixel but to be honest, I still have mixed feeling about the Pixel 2's design. It's got dated look on the front with a huge chin and forehead, especially in 2020 when even budget phones are offering bezel-less display experience. But when we turn it around, it looks so clean, feels so good in hands that I can easily prefer it over any modern glass pack phone. It's lighter in weight and comfortable to use with single hand, thanks to small 5 inches screen. It's an OLED panel with 1080p resolution, plenty sharp and bright display, shows vibrant colors and because it's OLED, if you enable dark mode on a black pixel, the bezels get blend with the display and they won't bother you much as they would on white or blue colors. The two grills on the top and bottom are there for a pair of average quality stereo speakers. It's got 2700mAh battery. The capacity is small and in practical also, it's not enough for a full day usage. The standby time is good, but screen on time is poor. I'm getting only 3.5 hours of screen on time, which could be ok to some people, but if you are a heavy smartphone user, I would recommend you its bigger XL model. Display and battery life are the only differences between the two, rest of the specs are same on both devices. It's got USB Type-C port at the bottom and it supports 10 watts rapid charging. Sadly, it doesn't have a headphone jack and third-party Type-C to 3mm adapters doesn't work with this phone. Google may never make a flagship phone again. That's what it looks like from their decision of including a mid-range chipset in their recent Pixel 5. And with that, they also got rid of few features to cut down the cost. Active Edge feature is one of them, which is the coolest way to launch Google Assistant without touching or pressing any key where you just squeeze your phone and give a command. And the Pixel 2 has this feature. Inside it has 2017's flagship Snapdragon 835 chipset, Arduino 540 GPU and 4GB of RAM. And with the Google's latest very well optimized stock Android experience, it's still handling everything quite well. I wouldn't say it's very smooth, but we are looking at a 3 year old phone. And considering the fact that it's only available for 35,000 rupees here in Pakistan, the performance is actually good for the price. A Snapdragon 835 is a decent chipset for playing heavy games like PUBG at medium settings. Now coming to my favorite part of the phone, the camera. So it was the best camera phone of 2017 and you might think, okay, it was a good camera phone then, but now smartphone cameras are getting really good and also we're getting crazy megapixel count and quad camera setup on almost every smartphone these days. So the Pixel 2 isn't worth it anymore, right? Wrong. This single camera phone can still produce excellent images. Sometimes it captures images that looks even better than the modern 60,000 rupees phone. The sensor is only 12.2 megapixels with f1.8. It's an old sensor but Google hasn't left this phone alone even after years its release. It's one of the early phones to receive Android 11 update and Google's camera processing has got even better with the new software update. So it's still a confident shooter. Picture comes out well with natural colors and with good dynamic range. I'm honestly happy with its overall camera performance. It takes decent photo at darker environments as well where modern mid-range smartphones still struggles thanks to Google's well-known night sight feature which can be enabled for selfies as well. So if you cannot afford a high-end device but you take a lot of photos on your smartphone then Pixel 2 is the perfect option for that purpose. It doesn't have a wide-angle lens or macro lens but to be honest, we barely use those sensors. Pixel 2 can take better portraits with a single lens than new mid-range phones having a separate depth sensor. So it's not even a major trade-off. It's capable of recording stabilized 4K videos and it also has a decent 8 megapixel selfie shooter. And the good thing is, you can also enable night sight for selfies as well to get a better selfie at darker environments. So it's still a decent phone overall. Battery is the only area where I think it's gonna disappoint you if you buy it today. Other than that, the performance is decent, camera is still great, software experience is also good, it's compact, it's easily usable with single hand and more importantly, it's way cheaper now. 
So that's it in this video. I hope you will not leave without subscribing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, stay safe.